Hello, hello, and welcome to episode one of Silver Lining, the show where we talk Stadia Cloud Gaming with a positive view. I am Vivi, your host this week, and joining me as always is Adam. Hi, Vivi. Hello, everyone in the chat. Hi, Vivi, and everyone in the chat. Uh, we do have quite a few people in the chat today, so I wanted to say a special hello to Four Scars Gaming. I'm a happy Ninja Guy X. TJ and Imran, who is, uh, yeah, uh, over in the chat saying hello. We do have an exclamation waffle as well. We don't have a waffle going on. Um, do we? Do we have a waffle, uh, Adam? I don't believe so. I, I left my potato iron um, uh, at my mum's. Oh, that's a shame. Uh, I'll get it back for next time I go visit. <laughs> <laughs> Wonderful. <laughs> uh, Starts with me to go on with, uh, with a few your mum jokes. Yeah. Um, <laughs> Oh dear. Uh, so what we're going to do today is we're going to be uh, taking you through T is TJ. Oh, T. Oh, sorry. I just saw in the chat that we have actual T deep um, T who's from my uh, followers on Twitch. So hello. Sorry. I just got excited there. Um, <laughs> we plan to start uh, just giving you guys a bit of an overview as to um, what the show is going to be going forward. We've got a kind of format that we're going to work to. We'll probably just over time. Um, but we we kind of think this is how it's probably going to go. Um, so we have a fortnightly show happening on alternate channels. We will have a main host. This week is myself, yours Julie. Next week will be Adam as the main host. Uh, we'll mm -hmm. talk through what we've been playing, what the top news for the weeks are, a Reddit highlight, because we are both Reddit mods, for better or worse, am I right? Yeah, for worse, usually. <laughs> Yeah, that's true. Um, topical conversations, those are optional. We don't have to. And my favourite segment, Penguin versus Mage. We, we really need like a an intro music for that, don't we? Oh, yeah, we do. But uh, I like that you've saved the best till first there. Penguin versus Mage, not uh, Mage versus Penguin. Oh, come on. I, I just thought it sounded better. Like, you know, <laughs> and, and that's the same best to last, you know, just saying. Uh, um, well, we'll we'll let the uh, we'll let the results Speaking of the world, <laughs> I guess. Oh god, I'm so competitive as well. So I know that I'm gonna be like, if you start to get a lead, it's gonna kill me. Like, <laughs> genuinely, it's like I'm gonna have to quit the show if you, uh, like, if you go three nothing, you know, for the first three challenges. Oh, that's gonna be brutal. Well, there'll always be the second season for you to claw it back. <laughs> yeah, if I if I survive that long. Um, so just to give you an uh, like. Because we're obviously talking about Penguin versus Mage. Penguin versus Mage is going to be a, uh, a series of challenges we're going to set for each other. Each week, the main host will get to choose the challenge. So this week, it is myself. Um, Adam has no idea what the challenge is going to be. I've not told him, not given him any hints or anything like that. So we will turn up not knowing, and the host will always have the home advantage because obviously they can... No, in advance, maybe do a bit of prep. I actually haven't prepped for this one. I really should have. But um, we will be revealing that towards the end of the show. Uh, some of them will be on stream. Some of them will be afterwards. Um, so, Adam, how did you feel when I first, like, approached you uh, about making Silver Lining? What do you think? I thought it's about time you and I did some regular content. And I was really glad that you approached me because um, I had only recently retired Penguin and Friends at the, uh, at the time. And uh, so I was thrilled to hear that um, that you wanted to do this. It was uh, it was such a great idea. And of course, I said yes. And then I just had to um, kick you up the backside for what was it three <laughs> months to get us started? Hey, you, you you could have you know started at any time as well. Uh, you know you can't, you can't put it all on me. <laughs> well, uh, you had the vision. I just had the uh, the charm and the good looks. Well. I would say you're 50% of the way there, but... <laughs> <laughs> oh, dear. Hey, I've seen pictures. Um... <laughs> oh, that's so mean. I apologize. Um, I used Lucky. to love Penguin and Friends, by the way. It was one of the highlights of, like, my week. And Ninja Guy X seems to agree. Uh, Penguin and Friends was so funny. It really was. When are you bringing that back? Well, it is, it's something that's always on my mind to bring back. It was just difficult uh, arranging things every week to make sure that I had the, enough guests on for the particular game, that all the guests ha had that particular game. 
um, making sure that everyone was happy with everyone else because you know sometimes people fall out and sometimes people just don't want to uh, don't want to interact with um, other individuals. So it just ended up being quite a mental drain. However, it was my favorite content to make. So you know it could make a comeback. It could make a comeback. And I, I if I would bring it back, I would probably have some regular guests on there um, just to make my life a little bit easier. Like, for example, I might have you on there every time I want to play Monopoly. Boo! <laughs> Go home, you're drunk. <laughs> <laughs> uh, no, I think that sounds like a great idea. I Honestly, I used to love it. I thought it was a really great idea. It was a good way to play with some friends. Uh, T is saying how it does sound like a logistical nightmare. And yes, it really does. Um, so I think having regular guests is probably a good idea. And do you know what? I would be more than happy to be a regular guest if you were to bring Penguin Friends back. And I'm sure Ninja Guy in the in the chat would be also more than happy to be a regular. I am going to speak on his behalf because I know Ninja Guy. Plop would be all over that. Yeah, no, that would sound wonderful. However, Vivi, can I just remind you that we're on our first ever episode of Silver Lining. Maybe we should be talking about this show rather than my retired content. <laughs> you make a very good point. Very, very good point. Unitrix, hello, welcome to the chat. Um, yeah, so Silver Lining. Uh, this all came about actually from the Summer Community Championship, which Adam and I did a few collabs on. Um, mm -hmm. And I just really enjoyed it. I mean, I was crying with laughter during the finals. I really enjoyed his company. And after that, I just said, you know what? I just want to do more content with Adam because Adam is one of the best people. Like genuinely, oh, I think you're oh. a great person. So I just had to organize something and this, this was it. And the name silver lining, I'm just so in love with it. Um, cause it just works. And so many levels of cloud of the silver lining. I just love it. Um, you're gushing BV. I am. I really am. Yeah. <laughs> um, so that is, um, what we're going to be doing hopefully every fortnight. As I said, it's going to be an alternating, so it won't be on next week. It'll be on the week after it'll be on Wednesday. We'll, we're going to try to probably do the, the same time every week. Um, we may have to move it. And if we find that this time is not working for most people, we can always shift it around. But um, we're going to you know, work on things as we can. And it should be over on Adam's channel next time. So if you're not subscribed to Adam, make sure you do subscribe so that you can keep up to date. And also make sure to follow us on Twitter. Yes, I got that plug in there. I remember to yes. do it. Um, and by the way, I just noticed that uh, on screen at the moment, uh, in, the f in the format... Um, for any of our friends across the pond, um, fortnightly is the English way of saying bi-weekly. But bi-weekly means twice a week. Yeah, I know. It's really confusing, but I know um, Americans like, like, gonna American. I know. I don't get like bi-weekly is is twice a week, and then when somebody says, "Oh, we're doing this bi-weekly," it's like, "Wow, that's that's really a lot," and it's like, "Oh." <laughs> <laughs> it confused us with uh, this week on Stadia, didn't it? Because we were both yeah. like, and we're switching to bi-weekly. We're like, bloody hell, they're really stepping things up. Uh, mm, yeah, yes, but instead, <laughs> they did not. <laughs> that is that is true. Um, but yeah, so um, make sure you do, like I said, follow us and all those things. The plug was smooth, as always, you know. It's I'm a, a shame guy. you didn't have our handles pop up on the screen, VV. Oh, Boo you. <laughs> uh, yeah. Um, I will. I, I can't do it now. I, I, I don't it's know how to okay, do this thing yet. It's okay. It's so mean. You're bullying me already. How about you move on to the next segment? Yes. What have we been playing? So let's start with you, actually. Uh, so I'm going to okay. say, what have you been playing this week? So, as you can see for our lovely viewers in the audience, I have been playing some Farming Simulator as of late. Um, Farming Simulator 22, that is. I've been playing on Stadia. I've also been playing a couple of other games here and there. But Farming Simulator 22, how I've been mainlining on. Um, <laughs> I've been playing a lot more stuff. <laughs> yeah, hardcore stuff, um, indeed. I've been playing a lot more with my partner. We have two cops of this game, so we play together quite often. And... Um, yeah, it's just a really relaxing game. It's not too um, it's not too competitive, though. Uh, I'm really glad that damage is off on the farming simulator. Otherwise, the number of times I've rammed Zach with a tractor or, or a combine <laughs> harvester to get him out of the way, 
um, yeah, I'd have tractor parts all over my farm. Is but, that yeah, a euphemism? Just, um, it can be. Depends. Um, depends if we're having a good week or not. But um, <laughs> I'm not. Yeah, it's just a lovely, time. relaxing game. Um, for those of you who haven't played it before, I do recommend it. But there is a big caveat here. Ooh, At the moment, like it that. is quite buggy. Just be aware that there um, you may encounter issues if you play um on stadia there's things like uh, game save losses and crashes but these will all get ironed out over time it's it's a regular thing now with new games that there are there are some teething issues but yeah no that's what i've been playing this week what about yourself phoebe um so myself i have been playing young souls oh. so i love this game the best thing about it is the artwork. I mean, the gameplay is great and all that, you know, whatever, but the artwork is just breathtaking. I mean, take a look at the, obviously, the, the video showing on screen. For those of you who may be just listening to audio, it is a comic book style, hand-drawn, um, you could say cel-shaded, but it's not quite cel-shaded. I always think it's 3D. Is, is cel-shaded 2D as well as 3D? Uh, cel-shaded is a particular type of... Um... A rendering process and if i say yes or no to this question i'm going to have someone very angrily message me on discord so i'm going to abstain from answering your question <laughs> okay well it's a, it's a it's a beautiful art style it's it's all hand drawn you've got um this nice 3d layer and it's it the fighting's reminiscent of something like um what's it called like final fight or you know those side scrolling beat em ups but you um you have bugs. RPG elements. Oh, we've got the... <laughs> this, is, this is footage from the screen, so we've got all the, all the BB bugs going on in the uh, on the screen there. Um, but yes, yeah, so it's got like, cool RPG mechanics. You can level up your character. You can do little side um, side missions and all these little um, like side jobs. and It's, it's just really fun. You, I, I played it solo, but you can play it co-op. In fact, I did play it co-op once. Um, so you can play the two different characters. I find it actually easier solo. Um you can swap out your character and they heal up between like missions have you tried out um you know have you tried out um, young souls yet um i have not tried out young souls it, that's on stadia isn't it it is yeah no um i haven't gone around to trying it out yet i i think i must have played it at least once for a pixel count i would have to double check but um yeah no I, like i said i have been um how do I phrase this nicely? Because the first phrase that came to my head probably isn't airable. Um, <laughs> I have been knee deep. That's the that, that one will work. I've been knee deep in cow poo, so I haven't had a chance to play any young souls. <laughs> one thing I do want to ask is actually is I've just noticed you have a pressure washer in the yes. simulator. Uh, yeah. What? Um, <laughs> well, you know the machines get dirty um, and. I, you got to look after these things, otherwise they'll break down. That is that is true. Uh, we do have a Coco Schnoot in the chat from Seb. Yes, I did um, notice. Uh, Coco Schnoot. <laughs> and Kel says, why should you update to Farmer Simulator 22 when you have 19? That is a very, very good question. And to, an to answer that, I would say you don't have to, actually. 19 is a very, very good game, and it is a very good experience. Farming Simulator 22 adds a few new things that are um, quite big changes. For example, seasonal um, seasonal harvesting. So you can only plant within certain uh, certain months of the year, and you can only harvest those crops within certain months of the year. It also adds production change. So, for example, let's say you are harvesting your cotton fields. You can take that bale of cotton over to a spinnery and turn the cotton into fabric. And then you could, if you wanted to, you could go sell that fabric as it is. Or you can take the fabric to another production building, the, um, I have forgotten the name of it. And it can be turned into clothing, uh, which is the final step in the production chain, but it sells for the, um, uh, the highest amount. So those can are the two biggest Can you design your own shirts? Unfortunately like, not, you... no. And you don't even get to see the shirts. They're just pallets. You get to see Aww. wooden boxes on the pallets. You do get to see the fabric, though. The fabric is lovely. It's multicolored and all sorts. It's a bit like my uh, my logo on the uh, video, for those of you who are watching in YouTube. It's uh, a bit like my logo. Fuzzy. 
No, 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 not not this logo. The logo in the video that, of the gameplay that you're showing. You mean penguins walking in the background on white snow? <laughs> that just mean really colourful. <laughs> it's not colourful, it's white. No, not, not this one. Green. Not this one. Look at the video that you're showing on the screen in the top right corner. I can see the video that's on the screen. Um, and I also see that T has asked another farming simulator related question, so I should go ahead and get that one answered. So, which farming simulator game would you recommend for a beginner, someone with no previous farming simulator experience? I can actually answer this one. You need to start with farming simulator one and then work your way up to 22 because <laughs> there have been 22 farming simulators and you've got to go to the first one because it's got a story that you need to follow. Yes, yes, it's all uh, canon canonical. Um, no. <laughs> Um, I would actually recommend 19 is the best one to start at because it's not it's not particularly aged. It has plenty of equipment. Um, if you play on PC, if you play on on any of the traditional uh, gaming platforms, then uh, you will have loads of mods available to you. That's something to bear in mind if you want to play Farming Simulator on Stadia. There is no mod support yet. Giants are hoping to add that at a later point. They're just waiting for Stadia to give them the go-ahead. Um, but yes, I would recommend 19 if you have absolutely no previous experience with Farming Simulator. There we go. And trust me, Adam is the expert when it comes to farming. Um, um, I'm sure I saw that um, that capture you put of you being knocked off the bridge or something in the tractor. Was um, that you? Oh, not knocked off the bridge. I think... Are you talking about the one where I was carrying eggs and I, like, somersaulted the car and the trailer? That's the one. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. He, he's he's a professional. Um, you know, it was stunt, stunt driving. Stunt driving. Yes. That's what it was. Yeah, stunt, stunt farming. <laughs> stunt farming. <laughs> oh, brilliant. Uh, so, yeah, that's what we've been playing this week. Um, what we're going to try to do is we're going to, you know, basically be a bit more casual, you know, talk about some... Some of the some of the more fun games, um, but we're going to move on to the news. So we couldn't do the news without oh. telling you know talking about the biggest news. You know what this is, Adam, don't you? Uh, absolutely. Yep. The most important thing that happened is the launch of Silver Lining. Oh, I don't have a soundboard. I should have had like an applause soundboard. Oh. <sighs> Ooh, Note to self. Blah, blah, blah. <laughs> Wonderful, that, baby. That Your impressions we, 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 we. never fail to impress. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Um, we can do our own sound effects. I think it's, you know, I think it was on um, John's stream that we, um, we we had a trailer playing and the audio wasn't working. So we basically just did all the audio ourselves. Oh. Well, you, and you've, we, got to, you've got to <laughs> improvise in those situations, haven't you? Exactly. And we have some applause coming from uh, from the chat, you know, uh, applauding through the screens. Yes, thank you very much, everyone. <laughs> Ooh, the crowd goes well. Yeah, me, me. Me, Adam. See? <laughs> <laughs> oh, dear. I shouldn't, I shouldn't be allowed coffee. Um, so, yeah, we, uh, we announced that we were going to be doing Silver Lining together. Uh, it was a project that we've been working on since last year. It was we probably started like talking about it in June, was it around that time? Yeah, it was somewhere around then. Yeah, it's been a long time. It's been a long time coming, and uh, we finally got to to make the announcement in January. Um, you know, we we showed our logo, which uh, Sim delightfully helped with, and uh, you know the the wording. Um, and we got quite a few likes and retweets, which I was, I was actually overwhelmed by the amount of by the reception we got because. You know, I was expecting maybe, you know, a few people to like, you know, the people that we, we know a lot. But, I mean, it was quite humbling, really, to see uh, to see the response. Yeah, no, I was uh, I was really pleased to see how how eager the community are to see a show like ours and being hosted by yourself, uh, by me and yourself. Uh, there's probably a better way of saying that sentence. Anyway, um, <laughs> I couldn't have asked for a better reception, to be quite frank. Yeah, like I, I was blown away, and um, you know, I just love, love the positivity that came from it. Because that's you know what we're what we're aiming for is, is you know, positive vibe. Because you see all these doom and gloom, but you know what, we we just want to have a bit of fun with it, and it's, it's less you know regimented. We're not going to go through you know everything that happened in TWS. We're not going to talk about everything that's going on. You know, all the hot topics. We're just 
Oh, that sign should have broken. I'm um, sorry, I was looking at a, a video there. Um, I should <laughs> turn your uh, your B-roll footage off because uh, you you accidentally almost hit a sign uh, in the B-roll. <laughs> anyway, <but> yeah, <laughs> it's not going to be professional, is what we're trying to say. I, I think casual. they already can tell that, Vivi. <laughs> It's just a couple of people having fun, and hopefully you guys have fun with us too. Just have a bit of a, a bit of a laugh, and uh, we've got T asking, uh, "What you say took the longest to figure out in regards to silver lining?" Uh, what would you say? I'm going to ask you. I'm going to hand that one to you first, Adam. Uh, I've got I've okay, got my answer okay. in mind, but I'm going to see what what you think. What was the most difficult? Uh, is what what took the longest to figure out in regards to silver lining? Um, for me, um, it was when V was actually going to start the bloody thing. <laughs> that's that, that was the longest to figure out do you know the funny mm. thing is i was going to say the exact same thing it's just <laughs> can we get started like just things kept coming up uh so you know we kept pushing it back oh yeah we'll make the announcement next week and then it was the week after and then it's like we need a logo and then it, it just happened it just kept going push back push back and i just said you know what let's just do it and i, I just messaged adam and said like right we're doing this we're going to do it on this date. We're going to send out the message. Um, and it's, yeah, it was just, it was just getting the the ducks in a row um, and, and getting the timing to line up because... The penguins in the row. Yeah, the penguins in a row. Um, you know, in their little huddle, waddling. Exactly. Um, so, yeah, I think think that, for me, is definitely the, uh, the hardest... Um, was definitely the hardest part of uh, of organizing. Um, and um, T further asked uh, another question about what was the most difficult. So um, you, uh, to be honest, the answer is probably the same. The, the answer is um, the most difficult thing was making Vivi um, actually announce this. Um, <laughs> but um, by the way, Vivi, your camera has your virtual I am aware. Has OBS okay. has, uh, has broken on me, but we'll keep going. That's okay. I shall. I shall take the baton. Um, so the most difficult thing would actually have been. Um, it would be preparing for this one, trying to cover for all eventualities, anything that might go wrong. As you can see, something already has, um, and just making sure that we're actually we're going to have what we need to be able to produce this content, whether that be physical resources, like for example, as you can see, we've both got. Um, animated um, videos to represent us or whether it be something more along the lines of um, emotional like am i am i actually mentally prepared for this um am i too nervous do i need to um do i need some dutch courage before we start those were the um <laughs> those, those are the most difficult things um for me anyway so my question is did you have any dutch courage before this then uh, no, I didn't. I'm fasting today, so I, that would definitely be breaking fast. I am slowing today. Um, <laughs> that's, that's just my brain, though, you know. Um, oh, my goodness. For anyone who doesn't know Vivi very well, and um, I, I hope you do, but just in case you don't know Vivi very well, that sort of comedy, that sort of Tim Vine-esque <laughs> comedy, that is very, very Vivi. If you can't stand that sort of comedy, you may as well unsubscribe and just go find something else to watch. Oh yeah, you need to bugger off a lot you know, if you don't like that. There's yeah, gonna be a <laughs> lot of terrible jokes. <laughs> yes, definitely. Uh, but yeah, so I would say the most difficult thing for me was so I actually evaluated multiple different like softwares to do uh, to, to do the streaming. Um, and it took a bit of time, you know, it's like I, I didn't know how to and it's not gonna be perfect because I'm I'm learning a new tool. Um, but yeah, I think trying to find the software and then what format was going to work like. We we kind of didn't want it to be a we didn't want it to go on for too long. We're um, we're trying to keep this fairly short, fairly pacey. I mean, our target is you know forty five minutes to an hour um, per episode if we can. Um, so it's just trying to find the right balance between making it something that people enjoy and you know want to sign into and also make sure that we've got enough content to, to make it um to make it meaty i think there there's a, there's, there's a balance and you know we're going to work on it over time so i don't think the hardest is over because you know we've got to you know reflect on after this episode how did it go what can we do better um and i know for adam 
after this episode. The hardest part is going to be the challenge because uh -huh. I'm going to kick his ass and he's going to start crying. So you know, he has to get oh, himself really? some, some tissues. And, uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, well, that would be uh, interesting to never see happen. <laughs> uh, I, I am going to be. Uh, I hereby demand Vivi to have even dry humor. I'll battle it out in Cake Bash. Uh, hey, dry humor. Dry. Vivi calls your humor dry. I would call it the wettest humor I've ever seen. <laughs> I would say it's more moist, you know, slightly damp. Uh, uh, yeah, damp. That's that's probably one of the best adjectives for it. Yeah, damp. <laughs> damp humor. Damp quib. Dry, dry damp. Yeah. Rising damp. Rising damp humor. Mm, rising. The damp is rising. Okay, I'm done. <laughs> uh, so Ninja Guy says, uh, our goal in the stadium connect North was to have it one hour, but we gave them a long time ago. Uh, I mean, I think we will stick to it. We, we're not going to go through like everything that happened in TWS. So I, I think we should hopefully be able to, to keep the episode length short. Because again, we want it signed for kind of like podcast length. So uh, that is the aim. And yeah. Sim says, no, it's dry. It's very <laughs> dry. So uh, we'll, 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 we'll take him on that one. Yeah. Um, and what I would like to move over to is, so on this week on Stadia, um, so we are all alternating weeks with this week in Stadia as well. So, you know, on the weeks where you don't get this week in Stadia is when you get a lovely silver lining. So, you know, that is the silver lining. Um, so we will always be able to talk about it, you know, a week later after we have time to reflect and, you know, things to absorb in. And the topic I wanted to bring up from it, so I'm not going to go through everything, is just the survey. So they actually put out a survey, which asked for stadiums to give feedback. The survey is now closed. So if you haven't filled it out, tough shit but if uh, <laughs> if you saw it in time <laughs> sorry uh yeah you were able to you know give them your feedback and one of the really nice things in it was it asked you to have three wishes so we rubbed our lamps we waited for the genie we gave our wishes and adam what are your wishes three okay so um if any of you have come here from my Twitter, then you'll know that I've already said this. But just in case you don't follow me on Twitter already, um, don't. when this survey was first released, I asked people, you know, I'd love to hear your wishes. If you're happy to share them with me, please let me know. And um, I had plenty of replies. I think I had about 20, 25 replies, something along that line. And, um, and I read them all. I um, responded to them all. I believe I responded to them all. But... Uh, Funnily enough, and rather rudely, I must I must admit, no one asked me mine. Not a single person asked me. What did you wish for, Adam? <laughs> so thank you, Vivi, for asking. It's um it's nice to have someone want to know my opinion. But you are welcome. Uh, now that bit of salt has been uh, thrown over my left shoulder. <laughs> um, my three wishes were, um. I would like there to be... Uh, so wish number one is more of a push with Stadia, uh, more of like a, an, an impassioned approach to um, how Stadia is driven, let's say. Um, so uh, hype around everything. Um, I'd love to see more of that sort of... Um, that sort of interaction and engagement. Um, I like, for example, we, we don't get the free code Fridays anymore. And we we don't see the Stadia Connects, um, so I'd love to see the return of those. Um, they might not be everyone's cup of tea, and I don't think I was even eligible for the free at uh, the free code Fridays. But they're still nice things to have. Um, yeah. My second wish was I, I'd like a little bit more information about upcoming games. I, I want to know what I have to look forward to. Don't get me wrong. I'm looking forward to the fact that there are games coming to Stadia. That is, that's that's fairly obvious. Um, um, but please don't hold me to that if no games do come, because that would be um, an awful <laughs> uh, thing to be held again. Game is coming tomorrow, so you know, yes. no matter what, if as a fact there are games coming, so, yes. you know, that would be the game for this year. If nothing else comes, at least I'm covered. <laughs> so exactly. yes, that was my that was my second wish. I don't. I'm not a fan of the stealth drop thing. I know some people enjoy it, but I I prefer to know ahead of time, and then I can prepare myself. If, it, for example, it might be a game I'm really looking forward to. Let's say um, Cyberpunk. I mean, obviously we knew about that, but for saying sake, we didn't know about Cyberpunk. 
I would have been looking forward to that and I would be budgeting to get that on my platform of choice. So um, that was my second wish, just a little bit more transparency about upcoming games. As much as they can, I know that there are lots of contracts in place about this sort of thing, but, um, you know, contracts could be negotiated. And yeah. my final wish is regards to game, like after uh, post-launch game support, um, I would like to see quicker bug fit patches and um dlcs released in line with other consoles um, that's a good one there we quite often are, are left a little bit behind left waiting it can be only a couple of days sometimes it's it can be months um and i just like them to um just to give us the same experience that other um, platform users are afforded and yeah, yeah. those are my three wishes I think those are good wishes. I mean, I, I actually really like the third one, and I, I wish I could have stolen it. Um, but no, I do think that's a valid one. And I mean, one thing I would like, actually, and this is not one of my wishes, but would just them to be put a version number on the game? So at least yes. you can see when it's been updated. Um, yes. Or you know, noticing games updated since you last played, or something like that. Because we know that some of those games have updated, but we've not been notified. And, you know, on and, Steam yeah. or on PlayStation, you'd see it update well not only be... that because yeah you'd be downloading but you'd also get a notification saying you know there's been updated and you get patch notes yeah so yeah no i think that's a good one um i haven't publicly told anyone my wishes yet um i did joke about them uh, during stadium connect north but um i haven't actually said them so mine are number one announce publisher partnerships so for me it's less about what games they have coming because they may not want to announce it. and i do kind of like the odd self drop I, I'd, I'd like you know, some advanced I'd like a bit of self-drop i'd like a hybrid what would be really nice to see is just we've partnered with ea or you know we've you know well we know they partnered with ubisoft but you know uh, other companies just to want, give us an understanding as to who we can expect to be coming so i think to your point about hype it would build that hype you know if we'd like oh yeah they've got yeah. a partnership with ea they've got these these games coming stuff like that i think that would be really nice and it you know, it's not the the roadmap, quote unquote. I think the roadmap would be the. It's just it, it'll never happen. It would be suicide. But <laughs> you know, you tell people when games what games are coming, or you just say, you know, we're, we're working with these partners, and that would be enough. Yeah. And where do they tell people at gaming events? That's right. Yes. I would love for Stadia to turn up to some gaming events, even if have their own. You know, Nintendo do their own. They have their Nintendo. Um, what does Nintendo call theirs? Is it Nintendo Connect? Isn't it is Nintendo. Direct? Direct, you're right. It's Stadia Connect. Well, it was. But yeah, yeah, Nintendo do their own thing. That's fine if Google wants to do that. I have no problem with that. Or turn up at E3 or Gamescom or any other gaming event. I'd just love for them to have some form of presence at those events to talk about Stadia because Stadia has the tech. Stadia, you know, it's a, it's a fantastic platform. I'd love for them to just, you know, be a bit more visible. Um, so that is my my number two because I think that that's really important for the gaming industry. Yes, and number absolutely. three, which I think is the most important one, is Stady merchandise. Hey, have you seen Stady? Um, I have seen Stady. Yes, I have. It's adorable. <laughs> it's your good. And I want a plushy Stady. I just, just, just want to plush it. I want to make a steady controller so I can have a steady controller. I want a plushy sta um, steady so that my steady can hold my steady controller. And, you know, like a, a steady duvet cover so that I can sleep under steady. Didn't think that through. <laughs> what about for those who, uh, who are in the chat and haven't seen steady? Maybe we should uh, find a picture of steady. Oh, we should find a picture of Stady. Uh, give me a second. Uh, Whilst you're doing that, those are some fantastic wishes. Yeah, um, in terms of merchandise, not only Stadia, I would love to see some more Stadia uh, merchandise available for other people. They they have, uh, the community management team have sent out care packages to content creators, um, including those light up hoodies. Oh my God, what do I have to do to get one of those? I know. Um, <laughs> I need one of those too. <laughs> 
Um, but it would be nice if other people were able to buy some of this merchandise. For example, the backpack and the, the water bottle would be lovely. It's, um, you know, we all need to hydrate. Gamers often don't hydrate enough. That so, is yeah. true. Um, and I, I noticed in the chat, Adam did notice this. Yes. Uh, you didn't notice it when it said Adam smells, but hey-ho. Uh, <laughs> this is Stady, by the way, for everyone who hasn't seen Stady. Look, it's just it's just a smiley face on the controller. But it's adorable. Like, literally, it would be so easy for them to make this into a controller. Why don't I mean, do it'd it? be pretty easy for you to do, to do that. You could just put a little bit of black tape on the bottom of your controller. It's not the same. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just going to put it out there. It's not the same. Uh, no, so, I'm, yeah. I have to ask, though, with, with Stady, which, yeah. which circles are the eyes? Is it the thumbsticks? These. Or is it the share? Oh, those are the eyes. Um, oh, you can't see my mouse. Um, no. So it's the chair and the um, assistant the button, button that are eyes. Yes. He's got the nose, which is the stadium button. He's got little rosy cheeks, which are the joysticks. And his eyebrows oh. are the other two buttons. Yeah, yeah rosy cheeks. It? Didn't think of that. Yeah. Yeah, kind of like Pikachu. Mm. Uh, but if you're it's using the Wasabi controller, I guess it's... Um, anything. <laughs> that is true. It, if, if it's the wasabi controller, I guess that is a nauseated face as they're feeling very green. Yeah. And uh, the founders would be uh, if they were running out of breath. Yeah. <laughs> Sprangle Stadia, just a frowning face on that one. Yes. Uh, we have um, Sim saying he wants UX parity across devices. And yes, I agree with that one. Actually. Yes, um, definitely. I think, you know, they're. I, I do think actually the UI has massively improved. I I really think they've done a great job on the browser one. Um, I do think we need to work on like the CCU um, interface. Yes, especially when we've got have we've had so many pro games now. We're we're over a hundred, um, yeah. and it's it's well, not always reasonable to scroll through that uh, that never ending. Um, that never-ending bar of games. It's uh, it's like a jukebox, but you can only look at one thing at a time. That is true. Um, yeah, so, and, and I mean, you can use your phone. You can find it on your phone. You can then launch to your TV, and that's one thing I do like. But, um, yeah, I, I, I have usually way ask my Google Home games. to do it. Oh, I don't do that. I should. It's a good idea. How good is it at recognizing the names? Well, it depends. Some games it doesn't recognize at all. For example, Farming Simulator 22, it doesn't know what that is. But if mm. I say Farming Simulator, it will open Farming Simulator 19. But also, you don't even have to say the whole game name. For example, Zach loves playing Breakpoint. So he'll say, open Breakpoint on the TV. And Google will reply, opening Tom Clancy's Ghost Recon Breakpoint on Stadia on the TV. Oh, that's quite cool. So they've done a good job with that. Because uh, I remember that leaking. Do you remember um, when it leaked on Reddit? I don't remember that, no. Mm, that's because we took it down. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that leaked on Reddit. <laughs> and we took it down. <laughs> uh, well, we, we didn't technically take it down, you know, but uh, the, the person took it down after some, some messaging. But yeah, um, I remember that leaked on Reddit and it was like, it was a cool thing. And then uh, it launched. I was like, oh, this is rad. Uh, so that was quite exciting at the time. Did you like, actually that say that? I, I unfortunately nowadays unironically say rad. Oh, okay. I know. It started I want off to as a renegotiate like, my contract. <laughs> you, you have an ironclad contract that will never let you go. I was about to say you have no contract. <laughs> I decided to it's change on the blockchain. Answer. It can't be changed. Yeah. Exactly. Um, it is a non fungible token. Oh, yes. Uh, it's attached mm. to this. Uh, this logo so this the, the um silver lining logo is your contract and you can buy this logo off of us for the measly sum of three <laughs> oh hang on 68.7 billion um dollars yes no 69 billion because it's a funny number and then we can outbid microsoft it's a nice number it is a nice number yeah, We've gotten so sidetracked. BB, get back I'm on topic. Gone. You're a terrible host. Back on topic. Back on topic. Uh, next piece of news is, yes, it is back from the dead like Frankenstein's monster. Not Frankenstein, because Frankenstein was the scientist. I'll have you know. The Winter Community Championship 
it is basically what birthed this show. You know, Penguin and I working together, hand in hand, cuddling, spooning. Um, I beg your happened. pardon. It never happened. It did. No, it did not. Don't tell Zach. <laughs> um, yeah, the Winter Community Championship is back. It has been quiet for a little bit, um, but we have opened things back up. You can sign up today uh, over on the Winter Community Championship um, Twitter page at the Winter CC. Um, and yeah, so we've got a form there. What are you thinking of that? What do I think of the form? I think it's a wonderful form. It's it's a wonderful, <laughs> wonderful form. If any of you have seen Police are... Academy, please tell me <laughs> you get that reference. Please, in the chat. You are a, a, butt. a, you are a, a butt. wonderful, wonderful form. <laughs> what a wonderful, wonderful actor. Anyway, um, back on topic. Yeah, no, it's I'm really looking form. forward to... Uh, <laughs> I'm really looking forward to the Winter Community Championship. Um, I was... Um, I was lucky enough to be able to take part in the hosting of the previous one, the Summer Community Championship, and um, it was a, it was an absolute um, it was a wonderful experience. Oh, I'm going to start using "wonderful" too much now. Um, I have to, I have it's a to wonderful, limit wonderful myself. Experience. It was a pleasant experience, and it was um, rad. yeah, no, it was it was fantastic. And honestly, the finals, as you were saying earlier, the finals are were just the highlight of it all. We went on for what three hours or something like that, but I yeah, enjoyed it was every single minute of it. Yeah, I thought it was great. I mean, literally crying with laughter during the Moto GP. Um, I just I completely corpsed, crumbled into a million <laughs> pieces. And I remember what was the code word? Because you said you 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 needed to go pee. Christmas. We had a code word for it. Was Christmas. Yes. And you, you you were like, oh, I'm going to go. I was like, is it Christmas? And you were like, what? I was like, we can read this before the stream. But you, I was just like, Christmas. And you were like, I have no idea what you're on about. And I was like, we agreed. I don't even think we told Clive about the um about didn't. The, the keyword. <laughs> um, so I this. imagine there'll be people in the chat now going back, watching that and going, oh, my God, look at how often he needed yeah. to pee. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, we should keep that as our code word. Always just Christmas. It's not you know, very good just... code word now, is it? Well, you know, no one will know. We just slip it in, you know, subtly. It's like, it's... oh yeah, and um, the Winter Community Christmas uh, Championship. Well, and, uh... see, I've already spotted a flaw with the Winter Community okay. Championship. You know, winter Christmas is part of winter, and I think it's very likely that we could all end up discussing Christmas, and then all of a sudden. We're peeing There's everywhere. No one talking. Yeah, no one's talking. Oh. It, the, the broadcast goes silent, and the viewers are going, "Where's where is everyone? Have they muted their mics? No, we're all going off for a pee." It's Pavlovian. As soon as you say Christmas, you just need to pee. Exactly. I mean, I've wet myself three times now since we've been streaming. Yeah. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> so back on topic. Oh god, we're yeah. so good at staying on topic, aren't we? Mm. Um, we yeah we. Um, We've opened up registration for the Winter Community Championships. You can sign up today. It's going to be a, it's going to be a laugh, and I'm sure there will be silver lining. Does the Winter Championships, or just you know, we will end up streaming it together because you know I know we haven't agreed it beforehand, but I'm I'm agreeing it now. It's in your contract. <laughs> you're, you're doing it with me. Okay, fair the, the enough. Championships. Yeah. 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 So uh, that is the last piece of news we have. Or is there any other news that you can you want to bring up? Or are we okay to no, move no. on to our Reddit highlight of the week? I think we Whoa. should be. Um, was that like was that like our I don't know our soundboard audio clip for um, Reddit highlight segment? Yeah, yeah. Well, right, one second. Let's 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 go quiet. One sec. Let's just stop the music. Okay. <clears throat> Reddit highlight. Of the week. There we go. We can you use sound that. like you sound like you should be in um, in some sort of RPG game selling Oops. potions. <laughs> Hello there, traveller. Uh, you look weary. Would you like some health potions? One d four. Yeah, well, it could work. But to be fair, you are a mage. I am a mage. So we have our Reddit. Highlight of the week. We normally going to choose one post, but I decided to choose two because I am the main host and because I can. Tough <laughs> luck. 
when is your week you can choose one uh yeah so it's going to be basically the main host going to get to choose what uh, we're going to highlight and this is actually a post from adam and the reason i wanted to bring this one up is because it shows what you can see if you go on to his flight sim streams so adam likes to stream microsoft flight simulator or as i like to call it microsoft crash simulator um and yeah so he uh <laughs> he uploaded this image and uh i was wondering whether it was from his stream Oh, dear Vivi. Um, yes, no, it was not from that stream. And I'll have you know, I've only um, I've only encountered difficulties piloting aircraft a handful of times. I have made tens of successful landing attempts. <laughs> um, but yeah, no, I really enjoyed. Um, as I was talking about Breakpoint earlier, um, I specifically mentioned that Zach enjoys playing it. I also have 200 hours on it. So I suppose you could say I enjoy playing it too. And um, <laughs> what I wanted to do was I noticed that you can do emotes. So if you look closely at the picture, you can see that my um, my character, the protagonist, has um, one arm raised. And that is um, that is a sign for halt or stop. And I thought, it wouldn't it be funny if I managed to get a vehicle in like some sort of crazy position and then... As if I'm telling the vehicle to stop, as if like, you know, you know, you've you've parked this well, stop now. Um, and so yeah, I tried I tried with a few cars, and in the end I was like, let's try a plane. I can't tell you how difficult it is to purposefully crash a plane without blowing it up. But it's very easy to accidentally crash a plane. Well, you would know, not me. I, I would have no idea. I'm gonna put links in the description of this video. To uh, one of Adam's mics of flight simulator timestamped. Um, Ninja Guy, could you please ban Vivi from his channel? <laughs> and swiftly moving on to our second highlight um, is this <laughs> uh, <laughs> is this one because this one uh, I thought it was amusing. It made me uh, made me chuckle when I saw it. Um, hopefully, I think I've got sound turned on, so um, I'm gonna just play the video for you. It's something that someone posted as a stadia capture. It's the bit at the end that gets me. Because not only does he fly off his horse, he just leaves no witnesses. <laughs> like, too embarrassed. So he's just like, right, no witnesses. Yeah, no, um, I'd be the exact same. Yep. Yeah, I mean, I, I once stopped my toe in public and, you know, <laughs> whipped out my revolver. <laughs> oh, dear. Oh, my goodness, BV. Surprised you weren't arrested oh. for that. I know. Well, uh, you know, you can get away with a lot uh, if you just, you know, just sneak it in. So yeah, I thought this was quite good, and there's quite a few nice comments in the um, in the in the chat on it. So you know, so excited had to pause the game. Exactly what I think I do. Remember capturing, um, and this obviously they were laughing so hard. But yeah, I think it's it's just a nice little fun moment. Um, so yeah, I thought I'd uh, I'd highlight this one as well. We should definitely. Do you know what I'm going to do for those of the for those who would like to. Uh, see these um, posts. I'm going to just drop the links into the uh, the YouTube chat for them. That's a good idea. Ooh. And thank you, Ninja Guy, for taking out that spam. I was about to do that, but you just sort of out for me, so you rock. Cool. And now to my favourite moment on the stream, we uh -oh. will be announcing. The first penguin versus mage. So, as we mentioned, this is a, uh, a challenge every fortnight. Adam has no idea Not what clue. the challenge is. How are you feeling, Adam? You, you nervous? I'm actually not that nervous because I can't see you going too too difficult for the first challenge you want something that's going to be entertaining and not impossible so it will I'm be entertaining not, i think i'm not that nervous um and i'm pretty confident whatever it is i'll beat you anyway <laughs> well those are fighting words um to be fair i'm not actually all that confident on this one in terms of uh whether i win it or not but it's going to be a bit of fun 
Um, so now for the reveal, everyone ready? Drum roll. The challenge is to create a trailer. So we will uh, <laughs> we will each be making a trailer for Silver Lining. There are some rules. The trailer must be between 30 seconds and one minute long. doesn't have to be a serious trailer. You're allowed a maximum of two external guests. So apart from the two of us, you're allowed up to two other people. Yep. You can use any footage captured of the other person. So we have to agree that you know any of your YouTube videos, any of my YouTube video streams, any footage or audio we have is fair game. Okay. The other person must provide any reasonable voiceover or footage requested. So if you ask for something from me, I have to provide it without knowing the context. So you can give me a script to read and I can do the same for you. Yeah. We have until Friday the 28th of January at 2 p.m. I've just chosen an arbitrary time to create the trailer. That is because the winner will be determined by a public vote and revealed next show. So we will be putting out the trailers on um, all of our social medias. We will put out a form that only I will be able to see the results of. So they will be uh, hidden from Adam. And they will be revealed who the winner is on the next stream. And we will be having that pinned to the top of our Twitter. And if I, I don't win, I'll be claiming voter manipulation. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I'll, I'll make sure it's fair. I mean, obviously, I'll put the link out and I'll show the show the results. But um, yeah, what do you think, Adam? How do you, how do you feel about your first penguin versus mage? To, to save face, I'm going to say this is easy. But actually, I'm, <laughs> I, I'm, I'm having second thoughts about winning this particular one. Um, <laughs> I've already got some ideas of, of some guests I'd like to have in. Um, I shall have to see whether I can get hold of Stephen Fry. Um, but yeah, <laughs> I mean, you can definitely get Stephen Fry. I, I, I would be surprised not to see him. Okay. Well, mm. No, not you. Apparently, my <laughs> assistant wants to join in as well. No, no. So yeah, that is uh, that is our first penguin versus mage. Um, I thought it'd be great because it just gives us you know something fun to do, and it also gives us a little bit of a, a trailer for the channel, gives us a bit of uh, you know something to put out there, and gets the audience interaction so people can vote on who's the best, and you know they can vote for me, vote for vote for Evie. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Fair enough. Um, well, Evie. we'll see. I think there's going to be plenty of penguins in the trailer um, because it's nice and easy finding royalty-free penguin footage. Whereas, um, I'm not sure I'm going to be able to find much Vivi stuff. Well, I mean, that's your challenge. I, I have images. I mean, if there's any images or anything that you want from me, you're more than welcome to ask for it. You know, we have to go into this with a uh, sportsmanship uh, spirit. Um, mm -hmm. But, you know, I'm going to kick your ass. <laughs> okay, well... <laughs> Mm, we will see about this, BB. We will see. We'll let we the will. results speak for themselves. <laughs> Brilliant. So that is all we have time for today. See, we managed to keep it into an hour at 57 minutes. Um, so I just want to say thank you to obviously everyone who came and joined us in the chat today. Honestly, really appreciate it. My biggest thanks, though, goes out to the one the only Adam, the oh, wrong way, the original <laughs> penguin. Um, honestly, you are my MVP. Really appreciate you working on this with me. Obviously, I wouldn't be able to do it without you. Um, and you know, I think this is going to be a great. Um, I had a blast. So yeah, that's my Ooh. big thank you. And obviously, thanks to everyone in the chat because you're all awesome. Yeah, no, thank you very much, Review. It's been a pleasure. I look forward to doing this again in a fortnight's time where we announce that I won the challenge. <laughs> and I get to see that one next to my name, which is on the wrong side, actually, funnily enough. Um, I, I, I just, because it's Penguin versus Mage, I made sure to put it in that order. I know that's not underneath our pictures, but, you know, let's do that. Yeah, but it's above them for a start. Sorry, pardon, pardon, what do you say? I didn't, I didn't catch that. <laughs> <laughs> um, so, oh, yes, no. Um, I also want to thank everyone that joined us in the chat and supported us um, with the announcement and supported us with our first episode. I really enjoyed doing this. I look forward to doing more of these in the future. Um, please send us any feedback you have. If there are things that you'd like to see, things you'd not like to see. I mean, go easy on us. It is our first episode. 
um <laughs> i would love to hear some feedback about it but otherwise yeah thank you everyone and um a big thank you to my mum yeah i want to give a big thank you to adam's mum as well <laughs> oh <laughs> you bugger couldn't finish it without that uh so uh as always thank you for watching i've been vv and and i've been adam there we go there we go we can work on that work on that post <laughs> uh, <laughs> you've all been awesome thanks for watching have a great time Bye-bye. bye bye